INIS's exams are scheduled in October and I'm sure a lot of you are preparing for MCA GI surgery entrance examinations. So here's a simple way to crack it and uh, there's a time test strategy which we have perfected over the last four years at search test. So there are four major areas you need to concentrate on. One is MCQs, the video lectures, the textbooks and of course general surgery part of it. Uh, coming to the textbooks first, there are two important textbooks. One is Shackleford and the other one is Blumgart. And uh, you need to, you know, you can't obviously uh, read the complete textbook. It's going to be a hell of a lot of a struggle. But what you can actually do is you can actually look at all the tables, make a note of all the tables, try to look at what sort of MCQs can come up from the tables, and especially tables from Blumgart are super important. Also, the images from Blumgart, especially the part where pancreatic surgery dissections are done, talking about surgery for chronic pancreatitis, liver transplant, uh, have a look at the pictures. Sometimes the pictures just come from the textbook itself. The second part is MCQ Bank. Uh, the Searches MCQ Bank is a very comprehensive MCQ Bank with more than 2,500 questions, which are curated for the latest editions of Shackleford and Blumgart. So I would suggest strongly that you go through these MCQs. We have consistently noted that all toppers, we are talking about top five ranks in any INISS exams, they have solved the MCQ bank at least twice or thrice. And I feel that is a very, very important strategy for you to crack your INISS GIS degree. For the concepts where you're not comfortable with, for the concepts where you feel that you don't have time to read Bloomgard in detail, I would suggest that you use the GI surgery video lectures from INISS. These are not at NEATSS level. These, these are at INISS or actually at a proper MCH level where we cover GI surgery, uh, in detail, we'll come we'll cover transplant, HPB surgery. We have had some excellent new faculty. The new lectures are excellent. And I would strongly suggest that you use them. Uh, if you need to look at a sample, just contact us on WhatsApp uh, or you can leave a comment on the uh, video itself. Uh, we will send you the link. Uh, and I would strongly suggest that you use it. Uh, make sure that you don't watch more than two to three hours of lectures because uh, the other times I would, would rather have you sp um, spending time on MCQs. Uh, make notes from the video lectures. Go back to the MCQ, solve them to see if you're able to solve all the MCQ max. Um, the other part, the last part obviously is the general surgery aspect of it. General surgery is most important because 20% of your exam is going to be general surgery. Uh, for general surgery, I would suggest that you stick to Bailey and Love. You don't need to spend too much time on other uh, other techniques such as Sabiston because you're already going to be reading GI surgery in detail. Uh, but if you do have time, I'm sure you'd have already read Sabiston GI surgery for neat SS as well. Uh, but uh, Master Bailey and Love, especially parts on trauma, post-operative critical care, um, breast and thyroid. I would suggest that you go through Bailey and Love in detail. That is more than enough. For INISs, I wouldn't suggest that you spend too much time looking at Schwartz uh, per se. So here is the concise strategy for uh, INISs GI surgery. So the resources you're going to be having is Shackleford and Blumgart just for the tables. Search test GI surgery MCK bank. And the most importantly, the search test GI surgery video lectures. If you need some help, Feel free to contact us. We are always ready to help you. All the very best uh, for your INSS GI surgery exams.